quaint harbors where long, sleek yachts line up neatly with traditional lobster boats. Cozy summer cottages nestled in pointed firs. Roads lined with white picket fences border rich lawns surrounding storybook clapboard houses. Unique shops brimming with curiosities line uncrowded sidewalks. Pristine lakes, ponds, and America's only natural fjord left by glaciers eons ago. The villages of the town of Mount Desert invite you to take a step back in time when life was a little slower, escape, and journey to the heart of Mount Desert Island where the mountains meet the sea. Experience the seaside villages of Mount Desert, each with a personality of its own. The allure of Mount Desert Island, which attracted its earliest settlers to Somesville in the 1700s, awaits everyone visiting Mount Desert today. The town of Mount Desert is comprised of six villages, Otter Creek, Seal Harbor, Northeast Harbor, Somesville, Hall Quarry, and Pretty Marsh, all sited on coves and harbors. Minimal commercialization has preserved the rural charm here, and that, combined with a spectacular natural arena that is Acadia National Park, provides visitors, as well as residents, with unparalleled surroundings. Superb hiking trails, kayaking, canoeing, fishing, boat cruises, golf, tennis, biking, shopping, galleries, museums, carriage rides, theater, gardens, and nature's own landscapes and seascapes all await you in the town of Mount Desert. Seal Harbor is home to many industrial and financial greats, royalty, and politicians. It's the home of the famous Jordan Pond House popovers in Acadia National Park. The Stanley Brook entrance to Acadia is directly across from Seal Harbor Beach, a sand beach open to the public. The beach overlooks a picturesque island and Crown Shield Point, which was once home to Vice President Nelson Rockefeller, son of John D. Rockefeller, Jr., owner of Standard Oil and one of the fathers of Acadia National Park. Seal Harbor has many of what we call beautiful cottages, but in fact they are large, lovely estates. There's a town dock for local fishermen, lobstermen, yachtsmen, and charter boats spending the whole day or a few hours on the ocean to fish, sail, picnic, or just sightsee is a treasured experience for all. One of the most captivating places on the island is Little Long Pond in Seal Harbor. Penobscot and Pometic Mountains frame the north while the ocean frames the south. It was known at the turn of the century as a place that lured scholars into its midst. Summer residents included musicians, scientists, and leaders of fine institutions such as Harvard and Yale. Hiking, biking, and horse-drawn carriage rides are the best ways to view the interior of the island, making use of over 100 miles of trails and nearly 50 miles of carriage roads upon which public vehicles are not permitted. There are several parking areas in and around Jordan Pond from which to start your hike or bike ride or you can forget your vehicle and use the free Island Explorer bus system that allows you to travel just about anywhere you need to go in Acadia. The very popular and challenging hike up Norumbega Mountain offers breathtaking views in many directions, as does the hike up Sargent Mountain, the second highest peak on the island. More casual hikers will enjoy the carriage road circumnavigating Little Long Pond or a stroll through Thuya Gardens in Northeast Harbor. Biking is enjoyed on many of the off-roads, and maps should be consulted for approved areas. The Hadlock Pond Loop or Day Mountain provides great rides and exercise. Not far from Seal Harbor on Route 3, nestled between Cadillac Mountain and the coast, is the village of Otter Creek. Otter Creek offers a cozy inn convenience store and a popular restaurant. Acadia National Park's Blackwoods Campground is located here as well. At Otter Creek, you can access the Ocean Drive Loop of Acadia National Park at Otter Point, which will return you to Seal Harbor.
Northeast Harbor is the hub of the town of Mount Desert and the location of the municipal office. Quiet in the winter and bustling in the summer, Northeast Harbor has many amenities, including public tennis courts, golf course, and a marina offering boating of all kinds, including a ferry to the Cranberry Islands. Take an enchanting stroll down Main Street. You'll find a historic maritime museum, remarkable art and antique galleries, gift shops, clothing stores, and some of the best restaurants on the island, all providing a most magical experience. A grocery slash liquor store, hardware store, gas station, auto garage, motel, inns, and boatyard along with banks and real estate offices provide additional year-round services. There are many beautiful estates, and perhaps the most outstanding attraction in Northeast Harbor is the harbor itself, considered by many to be the prettiest in Maine. Filled with luxurious yachts and sailboats during summer months, and a local fishing fleet in the winter. There are several ways that visitors can get out on the water, from sailing to narrated island cruises. Yachtsmen arrive every summer for a season of sailing. Yawls, catches, schooners, and sloops of all shapes and sizes dot the surrounding waters in Somme Sound. This is home port for the Maine Seacoast Missions boat, the Sunbeam 5, also known as God's Tugboat. The Sunbeam has connected the mainland with Maine's remote island communities for over a hundred years. Petite Plaisance, the home of internationally acclaimed author Marguerite Yorsener, is also located in Northeast Harbor. You'll enjoy a broad range of activities, from summer concerts featuring classical music to fabulous auctions. If you love beautiful gardens, Northeast Harbor is home to a couple that should not be missed. The Astaku Azalea Gardens are a beautifully designed Japanese-style garden open to the public from May to October. These gardens are just across the street from the historic Astaku Inn. Not far from the Azalea Gardens, tucked away on a hillside, are Thuya Gardens, boasting beautiful annuals, native flora and fauna. Enter the terraced gardens through a hand-carved gate by the late local artist Charles K. Savage. Somesville, the first island settlement settled in 1761, is located at the geographical center of Mount Desert Island. Here you'll find white picket fences, mountains meeting Somme Sound, antiques, a summer theater, and a quaint historic church. Wildflowers abound and hundreds of bright red geraniums fill rock walls. A July must is to partake of the fresh strawberry shortcake during their annual strawberry festival. Somesville has one of the most photographed bridges in the state, located a few feet from the library. Turning right at the fire department will lead you to the little village of Pretty Marsh, offering a scenic picnic area, picturesque coves, and small islands. At Bartlett's Island Landing, there's a dock for local lobstermen and small boats to tie up, as well as a launching area for canoes and kayaks. Traveling south past the fire department on Route 102 will bring you to Echo Lake. Very popular for summer swimming and in winter, ice fishing abounds. Hall Quarry, located off Route 102 on the left, just before Echo Lake, once had a booming stone quarry industry and some of the finest buildings in New York City and Washington, D.C. were built with Hall Quarry Stone. The village boasts a spectacular view of Somme Sound, the only natural fjord on the eastern coast of the continental United States. Here you'll find a working boatyard and an oceanfront campground. The pace in the town of Mount Desert is relaxed. Whether sunning yourself on Seal Harbor Beach, strolling through Thuya Garden, hiking in a quiet trail, biking a carriage road, or feasting on the bounty from the sea, there's nowhere to rush, except to watch the sunset on Somme Sound or meet a friend for tea. Close your eyes and feel the ocean breeze lift your spirits and calm your soul. So few places can do this. Here, you can in the villages of the town of Mount Desert.